Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my name. Is Mobby back with more Infinity Wars using the same deck as last time, the uh, Flame Guard Charge, you know, combination I'm trying. It's really high on early game, you can see the power curve, really, really low in defense. So let's go and try the next game. Hey, remember we are playing with AI opponents to just test out our drafting abilities, our drafting, you know, skills, quote unquote skills. Alright, so let's see. We're going to be playing a person who is using cultist stuff. Alright, looks like the same deck as last time. Let's go ahead and just charge away. So this is pretty cool. Like, it's weird though. I Like, this guy, even though he's a commander, he's going to go back to my hand. It's really dumb. He should stay out here. It's really weird. Alright, so... We don't have any persistent characters. So this guy can never stay persistent out there. This guy can, but if he charges... Wait, wait, if he would enter combat with another character, he retreats to the support zone. So this guy cannot die unless he gets hit by an ability. So at the moment, we have lots and lots and lots of charges. And our only persistent would be this guy. And when he gets into play, all my characters get untouchable, so we can only just charge and do as much damage as possible. We can throw out these characters for sure, but, you know, all if we need to. So we're doing lots of damage. Pretty good. Turn 3, character, his character did not throw anything out. Luckily, I have 3 charges. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna do 24 damage, at least it does anything. That's really cool. The bad news about charge is you can't throw them into the defense zone. But he's already halfway dead, so I believe we should keep going with this thing and we're actually gonna grab this guy. Um, when he goes into play, the next character I play also has charge. So we'll go ahead with, well, all my characters have charge, but I still need a character. Either way, with him for 24, he's halfway dead. We should be able to kill him this turn unless he does something really, really wonky and crazy. So let's go ahead and just finish the game. Make this as quick as possible, throw out lots of charges, and we'll see. If he has a big ass AoE, good on him, but I think it's over. Dark Wish, he's gonna create the 16 by 16. And I will just finish him off. Easy peasy. GG. Now, we're in a rift mode slash arena mode. Um, I don't know exactly how many wins you can get before it kicks you out and say you're done, you know? So we got 94 experience. No IP? We really didn't get any IP? Oh, that's sad. But anyway, we're supposed to keep going. And after the more, you know, after all the wins, after all the losses, after hits three, you should be able to get some sort of reward what kind of reward no clue more experience perhaps i am hoping for let's say like one or two cards at least because this is really good experience and fun so looking at my hand i got nothing but at least okay at least you know since i have this as a commander i can always throw a charge out so let's do that looking at his deck he is the sleepers sleepers is it all sleeper commander yeah it's all sleeper commanders which means nothing but the undead cards. Really difficult deck to deal with. A lot of uh, resurrecting and stuff like that. I mean, look at this guy. The longer he stays out there, the stronger he gets. If I can throw a fireball at him really early, that'll be the end of it, though. But yeah, I mean, if he can stay alive, um, he's gonna get really strong. And finally, I pick up my Dragoner of Summer Flame. It takes 11 resource. Fucking amazing. What's this? Character human. So this is a persistent, but ah, oh, do I really want to? I want to make use of all my mana, so we'll go ahead and throw persistent in the support zone. He threw a um, a resource, um, a resource uh, character on the field, so he gets plus one as long as he's on the field. Does nothing, but you can go ahead and throw it in the defense if you're really, really like desperate and it's like the last ditch effort to save you. So we have this card, uncontrollable ref. Let's use it. Um, a random character from the game is created and put in my hand. It could be anything. So, let's do that. So we'll put him in the attack and we'll throw out my charge. See what we get. Never used it, so this is the first time. Wish me luck. And it turns into... Whoa, what's that? We can't see it yet. So we're still doing lots of damage. He hasn't done anything. Brimstone. And let's check out the card we got. It's level 6. Oh my god, it's a rare. It's flying as well. So it doesn't have any purity. So it's pretty much a common card. I mean, a um, neutral card. At the start of the turn, sacrifice a character other than Shikana. If you do not, Shikana kills all characters in the combat zone and leaves the game. So really low mana cost, but high high attack and defense. You have to sacrifice another character. It's really crazy. Cool though, we got it. 
So what did he have in the field? Infectious zombie. Dang it. So when he kills a character... Oh, wow, that's really insane. So if he kills one of my guys, it comes back to life on his control. Oh, no. And he actually has enough damage to do so. Huh. Let's see, how are we going to deal with this? I don't know where he's going to throw this. If he's going to throw into the assault and defense... Do I want to throw him out? I think we'll throw him out. He's really tanky, and he could take a hit. This person, I don't know. We'll leave it here. We'll see what happens. Both in the defense zone. That's fine. I can kill one of them. The other one, he should be able to destroy it. Fill the graves? What did he do? He activated this. The top five cards of your deck are placed in your graveyard. So he's throwing lots of cards in there. Wow. Wonder what for. So we got rid of that. No infection. We got rid of this. He infected my card. It's going to come back the next turn. There it is, it's in his play. That's really strong card, that infectious zombie. Pretty awesome. Now he has this on the field. Uh, huh. Oh my god. If uh, Risen the Avarak is in the graveyard for three consecutive turns, it returns to play. That is a really cool card. <sighs> okay, this guy's at 70% health. Me, on the other hand, not too shabby. I need some defense. Uh, what do I want? What do I want to do? Do I want to exhaust anything? Probably not. Next turn, I can throw him out. Okay, so okay, we'll throw this guy out with this. We're going to use um, our command, our crusade, to throw out lots of little minions. Oh, what did he do? He used the ability of Lita, a mortal sufferer. So her ability is remove a character from a graveyard to create a 4 4 zombie character, which he did. Huh. <laughs> Oh man. Ooh, it's not good. Okay, this is it. What to throw this guy? Boom! So, at the start of your turn, sacrifice a character of Shikata. So, I have to sacrifice another character. I'm so glad I got these little fodder out here, so that's perfect. We should be able to do a shit ton of damage next turn. Oh man, she keeps sacrificing. So, that's why she kept putting cards. But, well, you know, the combo is you throw five cards into your graveyard, and then you can use her ability to summon anyone without having to be in sleep. It's pretty good. Alright, so I did 12 damage. Yeah, Alright. Sacrifice a character. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Just fine. Now, we can definitely attack with it. And since, you know, he has some damage on the field, but this guy's low. And I think it is time to, you know what? Yeah, you, you guessed it. We're going to charge our way out of this. See what happens. We'll go ahead and uh, charge even more, I think. Yeah, we'll charge. We'll charge exhaust. This guy. The one with the most damage. Yeah, that sounds good. And go. We should be able to do a lot of damage. Like a shit ton. I, I'll be surprised if we don't, you know, actually don't lose. I mean, if we win this turn. So we're going to exhaust that. He does less damage. He's going to sacrifice another card to bring one back. I take him out one-on-one, -on -one, and then we hit him, boom, 46, 13 damage, and I forgot about this, but he is flying, yeah, I gotta sacrifice another fodder, it's perfect, perfect card for the, you know, for the, for the cards that I have, it's amazing, so he, he needs something to block my flying, if he doesn't, he's screwed, once again, we're gonna keep going with our charge, and honestly, I believe we got this, another charge as well, 810 charge, by the way, GG, I think we got this. I mean, he has a lot of resurrections, but my god, do I have a shit ton of monsters myself. So he does 21 damage, but I charged a little earlier than him, so there's no way he can get through this. GG. Now, sure, we can talk strategy and try to outsmart the opponent, but remember, this is an AI opponent. I This is pretty much just practice. I'm only getting experience, not IP. Which is, you know, honestly fine. It's fine by me. Um, so that's two wins. Let's do another one. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if it stops at 10 or if we just lose. I don't mind, like, giving up all of this. Just, you know, to just see what we get at the end. So here we go again. And ch charge right away. What else are we going to do with one mana, right? Not much. Not much. So once again, more charge. We have the mana, we have the cards. Take him down early, take him down quick. This is kind of what um, my actual deck is like anyway. So charge, charge, and one persistent charge. So he, I don't know why he moves his person there. Let's see if he has nothing in his hand. 
This is the same deck as last time too, which is pretty weird. So we'll do one one and then another charge. <laughs> the deck that this AI is using takes a while to start up. Oh, he lightning blasted that guy. He 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 couldn't have lightning blasted my charge ones because they weren't on the deck. They weren't on the field, so that's another really good benefit. What's this? Battlefield Scavenger. At the end of each turn, if Battlefield Scavenger is in the defensive zone, you draw a card. If the val if it dies, you draw a card. It's not bad. It's a pretty cool card. All right, 34 health. My God, all right, this is like a choke right now. We're just charging away. Um, pretty weird. And we'll do this. I don't feel bad whatsoever. You do not have resources to uh, deploy the final hammer at this time. Oops, I don't have enough. Oh, I didn't click on that. One. I clicked on this one. All right, should be GG. This is like the easy deck to destroy if you have charge. I mean, as always, I'm gonna keep saying this is the AI. This is um, you know early access, a lot of that stuff. But still, you know you gotta play what you got. And uh, don't pull any punches. It's GG. I'm gonna throw them out. And yeah, no defense. It's over. Maybe I should have just done a PvP arena, but that's fine. I mean. We did a practice draft, and uh, we saw the flaws of what exactly I drafted, which was no defense, but it's another high risk, high reward type of thing. I'm going to abandon the run and see what we get. Should we do one more? Let's go to five, and then we'll abandon the run. Hopefully, abandon means, you know, you forfeit. Oh, of course, it means you forfeit, but I hope that you actually get your, um, your rewards, if anything at all. So we're fighting one of these guys, and they are the descendants of the dragons. Just a full on three. I really wish they had a uh, mixed deck, like like what we did on the draft. It looks like we're just fighting random AI opponents, which is kind of lame. It sucks that. So we'll do a our four two charge. Okay, perfect four two charge. This might be another card that uh, takes a while to start up, as well. So go ahead and do this. And you know what? No, 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 no. We'll, we'll throw him back. Even though he does hit a lot, we'll throw out our persistent charge instead. All right, he throws a meditating monk. At the end of a turn, if you were not attacked, he gets that. Well, he's gonna get attacked every turn. <laughs> so screw that. He can try to uh, defend all he wants. All right, what's this one do? Aha! We can try to activate these, which give us you know random ass cards. But I think we should stick with our uh, our plan and just keep attacking. Grab our persistent fellow over here. Keep doing that. So yeah, easy. I wish the computer would accommodate and you know change up the strategies depending on what I do. It seems like they just keep doing whatever they feel like. It's kind of lame, you know. But what are you gonna do? So I got nothing else to do. Let's use this uncontrollable thing. Let's see what we get. So it's a six six. He's gonna die. Pretty easy. And we got oh that card. That's the card that I got in my real deck. That we got in a pack. It was pretty amazing. Ooh, lost a lot of cards there. 16 damage. He's almost dead. So this guy's cool. If he's able to do direct damage with the fortress, um, you know, the, the first character in that combat zone is dead. Most of it's gone, so it'll just pretty much kill this guy, which is worth it. Let's do that. So let's throw him out. It doesn't cost anything. We'll throw one charge out. And we're just doing a lot of damage, honestly. Oh, no. Great. He switches stuff out. Okay, that's out. And uh, pretty much he traded lots for lots. Okay, not bad for him. So this guy doesn't really fight. He never fights. It's only in charge. Ah, like, having one in your deck is fine. Not too bad, I think. So we're going to try to get some damage in here. Let's throw out the charge, of course. And we will do a haste exhaust. And that's it. Not too much strategy. Not too much at all. I forgot to throw her here. Also, I should throw her at the end. Because once they're all dead, she won't you know, interact with another character. And then will actually give us rain to do damage. So we, we hit him and it got rid of that guy. So we should do that. Just as the last character, of course. And do one more charge. Right here. The third charge. I don't want him to die too quick. And let's see. I'm going to destroy this guy. Just using my fireball. Let's see. This is an exhaust. So we'll go ahead and exhaust this guy. Yeah, he's going to come into play. So definitely want to uh, preemptively do that. Boom. He wanted to play. Perfect. He's in the defense zone. It would pretty much defend against everything. But we 
pretty much, you know, thought ahead. And we exhausted it. He's dead. This is good. This is great. Eight damage left. Perfect. Now, bad news is, he has him again. Um, do I have more exhaust? I do not. So, we only need to hit him eight. So, here's the deal. We're going to have our eight guy at the end. And we're going to try charging and charging and charging a lot. Ah, that's all I have, huh? Alright, let's throw our cards out and just prepare for the next turn. Oops. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. And we'll do this. And we'll grab a random card. Let's go. Okay, so he only threw one. And yeah, I should pretty much end the game here. So we got an uncontrollable rift and we got a regular common. A neutral common. And GG8. Whoa, he didn't die? Why didn't he die? I don't know his freaking ability. Um, at the end of each turn. Okay, he just didn't die for some reason. Wow, he took a lot of damage. But that's fine. We just throw all this here. It's GG. Unless he decides to throw another fucking character. <laughs> throw this guy out. Okay. Yeah, okay. So he decided to throw all this here. Wait a minute. He doesn't have 44 damage. No, no, he doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was scary. I thought he had that much. It would be a draw if he did. So GG. He's out. And we're going to go ahead and retire the run. See what we get. I'm pretty sure you guys are boring. I'm just watching me fight AI over and over and over again. But here's the thing. I thought it was going to be a little more diverse. They were going to have, you know, drafted decks as well. They did not. So, you know, my fault. But, you know, it's a good experience. Now we know. It's good for practicing. Besides, we don't lose anything. So we can just practice drafting. So we're up to five wins. We're going to pan in the run. And we literally get nothing. Next episode, we might do... A, dr a real, real rift run against other people. So, yeah, you do this and you get rewards. Wow, you need a thousand infinity points to do this. Oof, that's really, really something. Oh, man. Well, we'll see, guys. I, I mean, I'm confident we can probably get some, you know, some sort of, you know, wins here. But remember, you have to be level six to, I mean, five to do this. And... I've been playing for a couple of hours. I know the game, you know, pretty much, um, you know, a good amount. And that means anyone who's gotten this far as well knows it too. So I'm a little concerned. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to continue with the campaign. I want to finish all these because once you finish a whole campaign, or I mean a couple of missions in a campaign, you will actually unlock a deck for that class. And once you do, you can mix and match all the cards and make anything you want. So we'll be doing that. Um, yeah, next episode, we'll do the campaign. And then we will be doing some more constructed, normal play, etc., and maybe some rank play. But draft, I'm really hesitant because I don't want to use all my infinity points just yet. I'm not that good, you know. Even though I haven't lost any PvP matches yet, so yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. A lot going on, so I'm gonna have to end it here. If you enjoyed, leave a like. It helps so much. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos. More Infinity Wars on the way. And then uh, hopefully you guys are getting into the series because I'm pretty much not going to stop playing this. And hopefully we can do some Rift runs on live stream. You guys can stop by, help me draft, and uh, call me out when I make a horrible mistake. So thanks. Um, this game is amazing. And I'll see you guys next time.